Today is the 125th commemoration of 1885. The events surrounding May 2nd, 1885, we're celebrating this year. In the history books, it's, it's um, more, more commonly referred to as a battle. In fact, the Battle of Cutknife. And what we want to tell here is the version that actually happened from the people, from the grassroots level. What you're seeing behind me is testament to that. You see all these people, and they're here to learn. What we are experiencing is an Aboriginal renaissance, where people want to learn. What we want to perpetuate here is, is a bridging of cultures, and we can learn from this. I mean, we have to make mistakes in order to get along. There was a medicine man that, did, that gave a warning. His name was Jacob Red Deer. And he had had a vision, he had been told that there's, a, there's something, something bad going to be happening to the peoples here. There was word that the soldiers were coming. The encampment had to be moved in a hurry. They had to move the women and children. But the warriors at that time, the leadership, had, were well organized. They even set up a decoy camp that the men fired upon. They tested out their Gatling gun knowing that there were women and children in that area. And they fired upon this decoy camp. And that's when the battle began. I think lessons are taught, basically. I mean, we're talking guerrilla warfare tactics. We have, we have a tactical area that, that, that is measured completely. They walked into an area that they unfamiliar to them. They see warriors popping up here, there, running around, shooting at them. Arrows flying to and fro. They're shooting at nothing. They're freaked out. They're surrounded on all sides. The government of that day uh, sent the troops. There was miscommunication. As a result, um, they, they paid the price. They had to retreat. They had no choice to retreat. So somebody had to take the role to restore peace and good governance order in the Battle, Battle River territory. And, and, and that's what Palmaker achieved. And Palmaker's been in the Battle River people, Battle River chiefs, Battle River warrior chiefs, that's what they achieved. Cree Assiniboine peoples believe in life. And we have a saying, it's called Bimatsuin. And what that means is, is a respect for life. It means life in itself. And what we want to do is, is to share that, that in this, in this engagement, life was respected. The, the warriors were giving specific instruction not to take life. What it is, is, is it's, a spiritual, it's a spiritual pact between two peoples. And, and that we take that very seriously, you know? And that's a promise. I mean, a handshake means more, more to us than, than, than just what, what other people would think. So on that day when, when, when Treaty 6 was agreed, we promised to uphold the peace. And what we saw that day on May 2nd, 1885, was an act of self-defense.